Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to do some data validation tricks in Qualtrics using JavaScript. So right there, I'm entering eight days in a week, which there aren't, but if I enter seven, it's good. And ditto here, got a five digit zip code, but as soon as I add an extra five, bam, I got that. Let me show you how I did it. To make this a relatively brief video, I'm going to give you the code in the video description and each section is going to have comments here. So you can kind of see what everything does and that way I don't have to go into detail during the video. And if you want to look at it, you can, if not, you can just use the code and bam, be done with it. All right. If you don't know JavaScript very well, or even not at all, that's okay. You know, you got to start somewhere. It's actually not that hard. And I'm going to put comments, like I said, in the code. So you can see each section, kind of like what it does, if you don't understand that and feel free to just ask questions if you need to as well. All right, so there's a couple ways to add JavaScript here. We could either go to HTML view like this, or we could go like this, right click, add JavaScript. And they're very helpful. They tell you where to put the JavaScript code if you don't know, so that's really nice. So I'm just gonna cheat here. I'm going to just paste in my code here and I'm just gonna explain a few things. So like I said, I'm gonna mark this up for you in the code and provide the video description. Uh, basically when the page loads, we're gonna execute our function, which is called handle input validation. That's that right there. And we're referencing Q1, that's that first question there. So we got it there and there, and also right here. Okay. And this is the actual data validation itself. So we're saying if the value is not blank and it's over seven, then it's gonna give us this alert right here. So if you wanna change things, you wanna change this to greater than 10, you know, you change that seven to a 10 and also right there. And then right here, this is kind of neat too. So we're using some regular expressions you might notice right there. And uh, essentially, if you try to enter a letter, it's just not gonna let you. So it's gonna only let you enter uh, numbers. It's gonna only let you enter numbers. And so if you enter a number that's too big, or for some reason you write a negative number, um, it's gonna give you this right here. It's gonna give you that message, that alert. All right, so now that we got it in here, let's go ahead and save it. And why don't we try it out? All right, so let's try a good number first. We'll try six. And what if we tried uh, nine? Let's see if we get anything. Oh, there we go. We got our message right there. One more thing I might wanna add is if you wanna do a range between two specific numbers, you can just replace the code here and make a few tweaks. So you can see the first parenthesis, adding that before the parse flow, the double lines right there. And then you can see the extra parenthesis right there. And make sure you change the message too. So we're gonna do four to seven. That's gonna be our range. And that's what you do and you hit save. All right, let's go back to the survey builder here and we're gonna go to our second question. All right, let's go to add JavaScript again. And again, I'm just gonna go like this. It's way faster. Okay, so some of the same stuff as before. We have the regular expressions right there. Basically it's looking for a five digit number and there's our message right here. Uh, that's going to pop up if we do anything uh, aside from a five digit number. Sometimes things get weird in Qualtrics when you use JavaScript, especially with back to back questions. And so what this touch thing here is, it's to prevent it from continuously looping. So when the message comes up and you hit OK, um, it could just keep coming back and keep hitting OK forever. And that's what we don't want. So that's what that's doing right there. So anyway, like I said, and I know I keep saying this, but you know, this is gonna have comments in the code uh, in the video description, but feel free to ask questions if you feel the need to, that's totally fine. All right, let's hit save. Let's test it out and let's see if it works. All right, so first I'm gonna type in a five digit code. We just wanna see. Now we're gonna type in six, there we go. Let's try four. Great, let's type a letter in, same deal. So there you go. And just to make sure that this works together, I'm gonna to type 66 there, good. Type four, good. All right, there we go, it worked. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Appreciate you watching and subscribing and take care everyone.